Hey there and welcome back and uh, today what we're going to talk about is uh, implemented uh, thanks to suggestion from uh, Tanky. Fireflies. So as the evening comes along um, we have this fire fire flecked, uh going on um, throughout where the grass is located um, implemented it so when I, when I walk through the grass there's more fireflies that come along. Um, I also looked at what it would take to uh, more do like a real-time debugging so we've we've made it so we can kind of turn them off or really uh, make them uh, go more freq frequently and that way you can find out what the to get the exact kind of uh, effect you want um, without having to stop and start all the time but yeah um, so let's get started So what I created was uh, a firefly, um, an object, and all it has is a single sprite, which is just a white dot. Um, and what what I did was create it. Um, so we'll go through the steps. So surface Y is where it's going to actually be the depth in the world, and not necessarily where it is at the moment. Um, we're going to give it a, a speed. So when we create it, we're just going to give it a a really short direction some random direction and we're going to give it a really short uh lifespan this is, it isn't five seconds but just a fraction of a second and then we're going to make it fade over uh, over a short period of time so the life for the life lifespan we're going to set the li max lifespan and we're, then we're going to fade it um we're going to create um set it to yellow and then also this uh Light color intensity we're going to use for uh, the, the circle, the light circle around it, as well as this light color that that'd be used for when we render to the to the surface, the night surface. So in the step effect, what we're doing is we're actually setting the depth to the wherever we we created so that surface, and then we're going to start fading it. Um, so where the, this is uh, the formula that I'm using is the fade steps going up and then the lifespan is going down. Um, so once we get down to zero, we're going to go ahead and destroy it. But this fade step is we're going to keep it bright a little bit longer. And then as we get uh, towards the end of its lifespan, it will go up much faster. So we're doing using the square calculation to get that accomplished. And you can do just regular steps and get the same thing. It'll just look a little bit different. And then so we're going to set the images alpha, which is the yellow object, and fade it. Um, as well as we're going to change the color as we go along. So as we're um, fading it, we're going to start uh, reducing this to, to more of a black. So get that little fade effect at the end. So really that's what we're doing for the firefly. We're creating it, giving it a little bit of a direction, and then... Uh, fading it over time. So in our time of day object is the last place where, or is where we also reference this. So in our uh, steps, what we're doing is down here. Since the firefly actually has is parent is this light draw, light source draw, we've added it to um, our time of day cycle, and then this way we're going to go ahead and draw. Uh, the radius, the small radius, as well as uh, add a little bit of color to it. And since there's so many fireflies, since we just reference it here, we'll just you know, just make one call and it'll attach it to all of them. And so the other thing I did was uh, create this, uh, go in here and modify the grass object. Um, what I've done is create this thing called rustling. So when Bob goes through the object, it's going to set it that he's basically making the grass rustle. And in, in that event, when we're actually rustling, uh, we're going to randomly determine whether or not we need to create a fire. For, so normally we would just create, if we're in the evening, we're going to have an occasional 
Firefly, but if we're rustling it, we're going to have a lot more. And this is where we create our uh, just objects. Every step of it, we're trying to make this calculation. And then we're going to put the Firefly a little bit above where we're at um, and go ahead and create it, create the surface depth um, to get that, that visual effect that it's above the grass. So the last thing I did in here um, for this modification is I went ahead and, and created a, uh, I guess, go up here. In the globals, I created a, a test value. So this value is, uh, global value is going to exist. And really that's what I'll use um, once I'm happy with the, the value that this is going to be. I can uh, go ahead and use this and apply within my code. I just didn't want to have to sit there and keep restarting the code um, every time I wanted to test a value to see if it looks right. So this way I can modify a global value um, within one of the controllers. So just the, the global controller, I have it to where it's going to increase the global value or uh, set the other value to where it's going to decrease it. And it's just a little handy thing that I that I do to get that uh, find that fine tuning without having to constantly test everything. So so here we go. Uh, going back into the evening um, to where the lights are, the fireflies are occurring. Um, we walk around and we rustle and, and more fireflies occur. So like that value, I'd probably want to modify it a little bit and maybe set it. It just seems a little high, but I still like the effect. You can kind of run through everything uh, and, and look how everything kind of lights up. Um, so our other variable, like I said, we can make them uh, just a rare occurrence or, you know, we can really uh, adjust it to make them, them come out a lot. So uh, just something that to uh, keep in mind as far as when you're trying to get a, a certain effect uh, based on a, a variable. So until next time, uh, uh, good luck coding.